Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we have another very, very interesting question from Radical Mathematics. Here we have to evaluate this expression. So let's get started by considering our substitutions straight away. I will call our first radicand a power 5. And let's consider our second radicand b power 5. So the very first equation which we can write after this substitutions x will be equal to fifth root of a power 5 so a plus fifth root of b power 5 so b. So we will consider a plus b equal to x will be our first equation. Now I will write a power 5. This is equal to 232 plus 164 square root 2 and b power 5 is 232 minus 164 square root 2. Now I will add both the equations. So we can write a power 5 plus b power 5 will be equal to 464. Let's say this is our equation number 2. Now I will consider product of both a power 5 times b power 5 will be equal to the product of these two radicand. So a plus b times a minus b. We can use difference of two squares formula. So 232 whole a square minus 164 square root 2 whole a square. Now square of 232 is 53,824 minus a square of 164 square root 2. This value will be 53,792. So I can write difference will be 32. So LHS will be AB whole power 5 and RHS 32 can be written as 2 power 5. Once we will take fifth root both sides, for real AB, we will get AB equal to 2. And this equation we can consider equation number 3. Now, if you will observe A power 5 and B power 5, both values are positive. 164 square root 2 is 231.91 approximately. So a power 5 is positive, b power 5 is positive. So we can conclude a will be positive, b will be positive for real x. Once a and b is positive, x will be positive. So our answer is positive always. Let's solve this system of equations. So I will write our first equation a plus b equal to x. Second equation a power 5 plus b power 5. This value was 464. And third equation a b equal to 2. Now I will use binomial theorem or binomial expansion. So let us write a plus b whole power 5. We know the expansion coefficients using Pascal triangle 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So I can club coefficient 1 altogether, coefficient 5 altogether, coefficient 10 altogether. So a power 5 plus b power 5, 1 is over. Now 5 times ab in the bracket, a cube plus b cube. For coefficient 10, we will be writing 10 times a square b square a plus b. Now we can use a cube plus b cube identity or formula here. So we can write a plus b whole power 5. This will be equal to a power 5 plus b power 5 plus 5ab. Now I can write a plus b whole cube 
minus 3ab in the bracket a plus b. Then we have 10 a square b square times a plus b. Now we have ab2 a plus b x and a power 5 plus b power 5 464. Let's apply. So here I will be writing x power 5 equal to a power 5 plus b power 5 is 464 plus 5 times ab. So 5 times 2 I will write 10. In the bracket a plus b whole cube. So x cube minus 3 times 2. So 6 a plus b is x plus 10 times a square b square. So can we write 10 times 2 square? So 10 times 4 40 and a plus b is x. So I can write x power 5 will be equal to 464 plus 10 x cube minus 60 x plus 40 x. Or we can write x power 5 equal to 464 plus 10 x cube minus 20 x. Now we will take all the terms to LHS. So our equation will become x power 5 minus 10 x cube plus 20 x minus 464 equal to 0. Now I will find the eligible factors of 464. So I can write here plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4, plus minus 8, plus minus 16, plus minus 29, plus minus 58 and so on. And leading coefficient is 1. So I will write only plus minus 1 as factors. Now I will plug in x equal to 1. Will it satisfy? 1 minus 10 plus 20 minus 464. No, it won't. Let's apply x equal to 2. So 2 power 5 is 32 minus 10 times 8, 80 plus 40 minus 464. Again, it won't. Now I will consider x equal to 4. So 4 power 5 is 2 power 10, 1024 minus 10 times 64, 640 plus 20 times 4, 80 minus 464. So we will be getting 1104 minus 1104. Yes, this time it is satisfying. So x equal to 4 is our base solution for our quintic equation. Now I will use SDM. So I need to write all the coefficients of quintic equation. So coefficient of x pi power 5 is 1. Coefficient of x power 4 is 0. x cube coefficient is minus 10, 0, 20, minus 4, 6, 4. Put one line over there. Leading coefficient 1 would be as it is. Now we have to multiply our base solution with this 1. So 4 times 1 will be 4. Addition is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Addition of both will be 6. 4 times 6 is 24. We will get some 24. 4 times 24 96. We will get 116 as some 4 times 116. 4, 6, 4. So here we will get sum 0. Now these are coefficients for quartic equation. So if I will write quartic equation, then I will be writing x power 4 plus 4x cube plus 6x square plus 24x plus 116 equal to 0. 
here we have all coefficients of this equation are positive. So I can write here for real x the values which will satisfy this quartic equation this will be x negative and as per condition x was positive. So we will reject this quartic for our solutions. So we are going to accept x equal to 4. So our final answer becomes our base solution x equal to 4. So I will write our final answer x will be 4. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.